Author Richard Houghton trawls and treasures memories like this. He's been digging in dusty newspaper archives and scouring the country, collecting fans' close encounters with the Rolling Stones for his latest book. In 1963 and 1964, they played over 300 shows a year, and they were playing in small towns. The Rolling Stones turned up, set up their equipment, went down the pub for a drink and came back and played. And if you were a fan, you might see them in the pub beforehand or you might get a chance to have a, an autograph afterwards or even if you were of the female persuasion, a snog with Mick Jagger or Keith Richards. These apparent hitchhikers, so blandly ignored, are five of the most famous young men in show business, the Rolling Stones. One remarkable story unearthed by Richard concerns a Stones tour in 1964. On the 2nd of March, they reached Nottingham. And after a sellout show at the Albert Hall, pursued by screaming fans, they found themselves invited to a house party in Beeston. And that's where this lady, Ginny Hartman, then age 15, stepped in. I was chosen to go to the Albert Hall to be in the Rolling Stones van to guide them back to this party. And I had to fight my way through this real crowd of screaming girls. I was in the van with three of the Rolling Stones. That's my claim to fame. Now, that's got to be every mother's nightmare, isn't it? In the back <laughs> of a van, 15, even 15 years old, with <laughs> no. the most dangerous rock and roll band in the world. I know, it was great. <laughs> Ginny still treasures snaps of the band taken on the night. There were people actually climbing up the drain pipes to get in because the word had got round Beeston that the Rolling Stones were here. The party went on until the early hours, not before the Stones heard that their latest single, Not Fade Away, had become their first top ten hit. And for Ginny, the memory of that night has never faded. I was there. <laughs>